All right, today we're going to discuss and explore why there is a million dollar price tag on some of these metaverse uh, real estate properties for sale and if you should go ahead and get into it. So you are on the right place. This is the metaverse property website. How do you find it? You can just type in where to buy real estate in the metaverse. Where can I buy metaverse land? Any of those will bring you to this right here. So stay tuned because then we're going to talk about three reasons why you should buy property in a metaverse. And lastly, we're going to go over the metaverse is a 1 trillion revenue opportunity. Here's how to invest. Well, we don't have to deal with the here's how to invest because we're going to go over that. But why is it a trillion dollar uh, revenue opportunity? Stay tuned. So now let's get straight into it. <clears throat> this is the site and we're going to check out buy land in Decentraland. Okay. Boom. Buy land in Decentraland is going to bring us to this page right here. Okay. So if you know anything about it, I went over a few videos uh, on Decentraland, Mana, um, Sandbox, and a couple things like that, okay? So Decentraland properties. There's a Decentraland property that's made for you. So why is this so popular, man? Decentraland is a decentralized virtual reality platform. So do you guys remember the Ready Player One movie? If you don't, hey, go Google it. It was pretty good. And now they're trying to bring that to real life where you're spending more time. You're already spending more time online than you are offline. But guess what? If you can live online, that'd be crazy, right? All right. Within the Decentraland platform, users can create, experience, and monetize their content and applications from conference and commercial spaces to art galleries to home, family homes and hangouts. Metaverse Properties offers land in premium locations for individuals, enterprise, and institutions. So if you can own pieces of this land right here, see we have some estates and everything right here. It doesn't look like anything, but then you can start building out all of these uh, different you know, pieces of property that they were talking about, art galleries, family homes, hangout spots, and all of that. It's like a real life Sims. Do you guys know what, do y'all remember what Sims was? Okay, that's pretty much what it is. So that's buy land at Decentraland. You can rent land as well. But check this out. You can go to Sandbox as well on this website, or you can go to their actual websites, their home pages. We might check them out before we go, but you can buy in the Sandbox. <clears throat> and I was just talking about that a minute ago. Look at the Atari in the background. I love the graphics. Okay, so the Sandbox, there's a Sandbox property that's made for you. So they pretty much just copy and paste on a lot of this information, but I love how the sandbox land looks. We're gonna uh, check that out in a minute. The sandbox is a community driven platform where creators can monetize voxel assets and gaming experiences on the blockchain, okay? So if you're into crypto, man, uh, the gaming crypto space is taking off. So this would be pretty cool to invest in from conference or commercial spaces to art galleries, family homes, pretty much the same thing. Uh, Metaverse properties offers land and premium locations, enterprise institutions. You'll find our land in the sandbox below. So check this out. <clears throat> they have 38 individual connected lands. They have three by three game credits estate attached to 12 by 12 sandbox estate, three by three game credit estate attached to the maker DAO. And they have three by three game credits attached uh, to the maker DAO as well down here. Okay, let's check on this one. I haven't been to this site before, guys. So you can make an offer right here. They didn't, I thought they would give us more information, but it's just a more you know highlighted look at it. But this would be your land. This this would pretty much be your land right here. Uh, I'm still trying to get my you know wrap my head around a lot of this. Man is is new, and you know you would just click, put your email, blah blah blah, your name, your company if you got one, and you put the reason why you want to uh, purchase this. And I guess you ask for a quote or make an offer, like I said, like it said, okay? So now let's check out another one. You can buy Insomnium, almost sounds like an insomniac, right? Anyway, um, buy Insomnium, boom, 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 Insomnium space, check this out. All right, Insomnium space properties, probably a copy and paste of what it just said in the last name. Yep, there's a Insomnium space property that's made just for you guys. And then they copy and paste everything they said down there. But the thing that's unique about this one, I love it. They're pretty creative. They have waterfront properties. 
small, medium, extra large. They have roadside properties, small, medium, extra large, and they just have two to choose from. And I'm guessing if you click on them, then you can make an offer. It's pretty awesome, man. Listen, it's pretty cool. If, if this is really where the world is heading, then it's just like how it was offline. You're going to want to start buying things up right now. I haven't bought into any of them yet. That's because I'm still trying to, like I said, wrap my head around it. But in a minute, we're going to go over three reasons why we should go ahead and stop procrastinating and buy into this. If you hear a stupid cat in my background, I apologize about it. I'm in Mexico and Mexico cats, not trying to be weird or racist, but the cats out here are super loud and boisterous and just won't shut the hell up though. Okay, so extra large XL parcel insomnium space has a size of 15 uh, by, you know, 50 height depth build limit, which is located all this extra technical crap. All right, if you'll probably know about it, but I love how it looks though. Okay, so check that out. You can make an offer just like you could on the other one. So let's get out of this one. And before we go and check on it, we're gonna check out, let's see. Uh, we, we'll go ahead and go through crypto voxels. Let's see what their land looks like, baby. Buying crypto voxels, eh, I ain't really liking it. Okay, but you know, create them. There's a crypto voxel made for you. We already know that, you said that last time. They don't really have too much information on that. And then we're gonna last but not least buy in Upland. Okay, let's see what Upland is looking like. But I think I'll stay closer to the sandbox and Decentraland because they're pretty much like killing it right now. Okay, there's an Upland property that's for you. I'm tired of seeing that. All right, Upland, the Earth's metaverse where you buy, sell, and trade virtual properties map to the real world. That's cool as hell, man. Okay become a digital landowner or run a virtual business to earn UPX coins. Okay, so it's tied to a token as well. Connect the fellow Uplanders to build one of the largest communities and digital marketplaces. Be the true owner of your digital assets powered by blockchain technology. Then they got the copy and paste down here. They said we'll find below some images, but we couldn't. All right, so now, as I said, you can check out Metaverse uh dot properties if you want to buy some land or you can always go to these sites um you know directly boom so we're going to check out three reasons why you should buy property in the metaverse buying virtual real estate feels like a highly speculative investment but it may be less of a cash fantasy than people imagine here's some reasons why so we're just going to check out the three key points and you guys can go and in individually read this on your own and all that Ah, okay, I had to give me a drink of water. The three key points. This week, there were 2,930 sales of Metaverse properties totaling over $43 million. This is lunacy, it's crazy to me. I'm not understanding why people are spending millions on virtual properties, but by the time you understand, it might be too late. That sucks, okay? So there's a lot of opportunities for investors to get in the metaverse early, like right now. Second Life, arguably the first platform in the metaverse, provides a roadmap for the future of the metaverse. So I think we should check out uh, Second Life. I might do that in a separate video. Uh, but then they have the steps and everything like that. You know, uh, hold on. So commercial, hold on, we didn't see the last one. Oh, well, yes, we did. Okay, so commercial names are jumping feet first into the metaverse. A lot of them are gigantic branded companies and they have a lot of money to test and play around with stuff, guys. So that's what they do, just like the whales and the stock market and in crypto, they have these gigantic, huge names jump in so that you'll follow like the sheep that they believe we are and lose all your money. So do your own due diligence and research, okay? So Nike, is the latest in a string of big name brands that are stepping into the metaverse. No pun intended because they say stepping. Just this month, it announced a purchase of a company that makes NFT sneakers called RTFKT. Yes, that's correct. It makes sneakers that only exist in a metaverse. This is what I'm talking about, guys. They're planning on having in a whole a whole virtual reality character type situation, which is why I like uh the, the meta hero crypto that I was talking about on, on um, the channel and everything. You can check that one out. I might do a video on that one update, all right? But Nike wants to make sure that every avatar in the metaverse is wearing Nike shoes. Yo, 
they are super smart. I ain't even gonna lie, man, because they know, oh, that's branding. If you're gonna be spending way more of your time online, hooked into virtual reality, getting to know your character, you're going to have to identify with your avatar on there is gonna literally become you. So you're gonna become self-conscious about what your avatar is wearing after a while, which is freaking crazy to me. And um, they say, well, you wanna be fresh. Your avatar needs to be fresh. So if you're wearing them online, then chances are you'll start wearing them offline. You see how much psychology goes into these damn companies, man? That's crazy. All right, so listen, and it's going to be big. It's not waiting to see what other companies are doing because it has a solid understanding of what's driving these platforms and how it can reap the benefits. For example, Gucci, a division of Caring, a, ran a limited promotion this summer where it created a digital version of Gucci Garden Exhibit and gave away and sold metaverse versions of popular bags and other limited items on Roblox. So they ain't playing it. You see they got the little metaverse uh, concerts that they're doing with people like Travis Scott and weirdos and stuff like that. <laughs> no offense. Okay, so then we come to two. Real estate developers are dumping millions into the metaverse. All right, check this out. And I've been talking about virtual real estate anyway, and I'm gonna tell y'all about it before we leave up off this mug, y'all. Okay, so keep watching me. Virtual real estate developer uh, Republic Rim just set a record by purchasing 4.3 million piece of land uh, metaverse platform, the Sandbox. So they bought the Sandbox, damn. Uh, breaking a record set a week prior by tokens.com for a 2.5 million purchase of land in Decentraland. That's some walking around, man. Listen, man, they ain't playing games. They putting their money where the land is. You see what I'm talking about? Given that these companies fully intend to create spaces like virtual malls and other rentable properties, um, for example, where you can shop for your Nike shoes online virtually, that's freaking crazy, dude. For your avatar, your avatar is going to be able to open a fresh box of Nikes and get the new shoe smell and all of that craziness. Listen, and that and they both gave very serious consideration to how to determine the value of metaverse property. I have a hard time laughing this off as a weird kind of publicity stunt. These guys are as serious as cancer and have the business plans to prove it. Woo guys, if you can put your goggles on and look into the future, man, that's what these people are trying to do. I talk about it, time travel. All right, you might not understand everything right now, but if you can get a little glimpse into the future and figure out how to catapult yourself there for a day and imagine what it would be like, that's what they're doing. They're like, you look, obviously people are not getting off the internet no time soon. The internet is not going anywhere with everything plugged into it. It's only like, it's inevitable that we'll eventually start plugging ourselves in like the matrix more than we already are. So we need to be at the head of it. Even if it sounds like abracadabra right now, we got a little bit of money. So that's what they're doing. They foresee a world where they can rent storefronts to companies who want to sell merchandise but not maintain any virtual re real estate. <laughs> wow. All right, rent virtual condos to people who want to visit the metaverse but not drop 12,000 on their own. Yo, yo, they are ahead of the, yo. All right, or even design and build custom homes for celebrities who feel like a metaverse presence is good for their brand image, but don't have the time to muck around with the messy bits like me. I don't have the time for all this stuff, so I would be a good customer for that. I'm pretty sure it's high, high ticket though. Listen, metaverse real estate isn't new. Although the hottest platforms in the metaverse are fairly new, they're far from the earliest examples of people getting into virtual real estate and making an absolute killing. Bloomberg covered the second, uh, second life's first millionaire, Alan Grafe, or I don't know how the hell that is. That's 2006. She got, so I'm guessing it's alien, whatever. She got in second life early, spent two years building up virtual land holdings and developing custom avatars. Now invests heavily in technology groups with a fortune made in virtual world. This is lunacy this is crazy this is psycho no I'm just, just this year second life started in 2003 reported a gdp equivalent to 600 million and over 80 million in cash outs to creators based on their investments in a community man that's a nice return baby all right the second life marketplace offers a wide range of rentals but rarely any real estate for sale hey you know it's like it's like 
why sell the cure? You know what I'm saying? Like, why? You know, you won't, why give them the cure when you, you know what I'm saying? All right, presumably owners are making enough on those rentals, even at four or five dollars a week, that they have no desire to sell. That's crazy business model. These transactions are largely handled through real estate groups native to the platform. Yo, all right, so now we're gonna check out the one trillion dollar revenue opportunity right here. Why is it a one trillion dollar? Well, if we don't know already, I mean, we just went over it, you know what I'm saying? But Mickey Mouse, Gucci B, and Snoop Dogg have in common. They're all animal things, and they're coming to a metaverse near you. The metaverse, as I've explained before, and part uh, of the next iteration of the internet, some are calling Web 3.0. That's another big thing people are talking about. Web 3.0. I still ain't dug deep into it, but they're talking a lot about it, baby. We're going to talk about it too. Okay. Within the next few years, we will all work, play, socialize, and invest in this all-encompassing ecosystem, whether that means attending a professional conference at a virtual Four Seasons hotel, shopping for a new designer handbag for our digital avatar, <laughs> are swinging through the New York City skyline with Spider-Man. This is crazy, dude. We literally are not going to have any real human interaction. They're trying to make it to where we're all just at home plugged into our machines, just like the Avatar movie, which makes me wonder if he predicted all of this or if he's behind all this, James Cameron, or if Hollywood put him up to this because they're always dropping clues of the next ways they're going to uh, uh, influence the freaking sheepest world that we are, okay? Like, because everybody just got plugged in. He got so uh, addicted, didn't want to be, well, he was paralyzed, but he, he loved it in that world, man. Even though it wasn't real. He wasn't a real animal, okay? Users were a little more than passive observers. Next came Web 2.0, the period we're currently in, controlled by disproportionately small number of companies, Facebook, YouTube, and the internet today is highly centralized despite the user's role. So 3.0 would be different, which uh, will the user in a whole new level of experience to people may sound like trying in real life. Now I'm gonna have to go back and watch trying. They get on my damn. Basically, we'll have a little bit more uh, control. So what y'all think about it, man? Are you guys gonna go to the Metaverse property site and buy some Metaverse land or at least rent some and from Decentraland to Sandbox. Those are my two choices if I decide to go ahead and go. Let me know what y'all are going to do. Love you guys. Sub if you haven't. I want to see.